Vlogmas day one, I'm gonna show you guys how much I procrastinate when it comes to working out. That's next to the pool at my gym. I can either go downstairs and swim laps or like a five-year-old child, I can go play in the artificial rain. Which would you choose? What's up guys, my name is Brian. If you haven't been to this channel before, I make lifestyle videos, vlogs, and tech reviews, so make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on the latest videos. Now, I wanted to talk to you this morning because I decided that I'm gonna do Vlogmas. Now, Vlogmas is basically when you do a vlog every day for 25 days. People start way early sometimes, but basically it's December 1st to December 21st, and I decided that I was gonna do it this year. Now for me it's a huge challenge because normally I post videos weekly on YouTube and I have been for like a few months now. That's been a stretch for me just to get them in once every Sunday. So now I'm going to do one video every day for the next 25 days. Uh, I wake up every morning at like quarter to five, 4.30, I get up and I go to the gym and then I head to work and work a full eight or ten hour day. So for me I'm going to have to be able to cut, shoot and post a video once a day. I decided I wanted to do it because it's always good to challenge yourself and stretch yourself out. Uh, my wife and I have done marathons before, and triathlons, done things that, that scared us. Uh, and this kind of scares me because I don't know if we'll be able to do it because it's definitely hard to post every day for 25 days. So in order to make sure that I can successfully complete the challenge of doing 25 videos, I tried to plan out like what I would do. So I looked up on YouTube, on the internet to find out what are some of the best ideas. So I decided I was gonna do things like the brother tag. Brother tag video is the one where you and your brother sit together and you answer questions. Uh, in my head, I'm picturing it like the newlywed game, if anybody knows what I'm talking about. From Hollywood, it's the newlywed game! Uh, you kind of like hear the answers from your sibling, maybe that you didn't expect. Also, my wife and I met on OkCupid okay years ago, and <laughs> let me just say, we met on OkCupid okay before they had an OkCupid okay app. Not before they had apps, just before OkCupid okay had one. So I was sitting at like my desktop computer with the monitor and the tower and the mouse messaging my wife. So I thought that would be a really cool video to do, to show you guys how we met, to show how we moved around the country, and where we are today, because we've been together now for, she'll kill me, like seven or eight years, something like that. Um, what were the other ones? Oh, like wake up and morning routine. I know there's a ton of the videos out there on YouTube. I see all the ones that say, you know, like wake up before 6 a.m. We wake up every day before five, usually at 4.45 and we head to the gym before five o'clock or at five o'clock. So I thought it'd be cool to show you guys what that's like. What does it take to wake up early every morning? Spoiler alert, you have to go to bed really early in order to wake up really early. I would still watch the video because there's gonna be a lot of great tips and it'll really show you what it takes to wake up and get to the gym every day. Another great idea, my brother who is a few years older than I am, has a very uh, like eclectic taste in gifts. He doesn't like when you just buy him something from the store. He hates gift cards. He doesn't like something from like Amazon. He always wants like a unique gift and he always wants it to be obscure because he wants only a few people to understand what it is. I'll explain. My brother is the biggest movie buff in the world. He has some of the coolest tattoos you'll ever see. Some of them look like this. Right, he's got Chevy Chase and Dan Aykroyd and all these 80s references, things from our childhood. So all the gifts have to be things from our childhood. So I wanted to make a video to show the lengths that I have to go to get my brother a gift every year. Almost every year the gift has to be made with my hands or I have to go to some obscure website where they auction off like the glass that Tony Soprano drank out of on the fifth episode of season six. Are there six seasons? I, I don't really know. I'll show you some of the gifts that I made, and some of them are really obscure, and I think a lot of you guys will really enjoy them. When I decided I was gonna make this video this morning, by the way, it's like 6.15 in the morning, so I'm trying to get out early and start day one of Vlogmas. I had a lot more ideas, and I'm looking at my calendar where I have sort of like plotted out all of the days of Vlogmas, and I have like five ideas, so I need 20 more. If anybody has any really good ideas, comment below before Vlogmas is over so I can have a lot more material and I can think of things to create. So my wife texted me a bunch of ideas. You could also do what you eat in a day. So I'm a really healthy person. Uh, I go to the gym every day. I don't necessarily eat very healthy. During the week, I usually get like a meal prep service, so I'll do a video about that. It's usually pretty healthy during the week. On the weekend, it's a complete dumpster fire, and I eat horrible. Pizza, egg and cheese on a bagel, fried foods, and then I usually try to circle back around by Monday. Um, but generally, Monday turns into Tuesday, turns into Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then it's the entire week that I'm eating terrible. Uh, I'm pretty sure that most of you guys can relate to that. It's definitely very difficult to eat healthy. You have to make a concerted effort, but I'll do a video to show you like what I normally get for the week and how I try to stay on track. Okay, she also said I could do mukbang. I, is that what that is? What is that? 
Okay, so that's like a YouTube live thing. I think Wikipedia says mukbang is online audiovisual broadcast where the host eats a large amount of food and then they interact with the crowd. Uh, we'll see. I don't know what I'll eat. We do live in New York City, so I have to imagine there's a lot of places that serve like unique foods that I'm sure a lot of you guys would actually like to see. I actually have heard of this place in Long Island where they give you everything and the kitchen sink and they literally bring out a kitchen sink that's been removed and they fill it with ice cream and I think you have an hour to eat the entire thing. I don't know how many gallons it is. Maybe I can find out and I'll post it right here on the video. But that always seemed like a really cool challenge for me. That's something I've always wanted to do as a kid because I remember hearing about it on the radio. I also wanted to share with you guys, uh, if you watch Sarah Dishi, if you don't, she's great. I'll put her link below. They're having a creator pop-up and it's at 393 Broadway. And if you guys watch Casey Neistat, he has an office at 368 Broadway. So this is a creator pop-up. Sarah Dietschy's supposed to be there. Uh, Colin, I can't remember his name, but he's a guy who wears glasses. Uh, so it's a creator pop-up. I don't actually know what that is. I watched Sarah Dietschy's video and she said basically they'd be selling merch and she would be there along with a bunch of other people. There's a ton of New York vloggers, so I'm sure a lot of them will be there. So I'll take you guys there to see that. I think it's gonna be really cool and I'll show you what that's all about. If you've watched any of my other videos, you see that I have a magic mirror. If not, I'll post it in the card up there. But I'm at my gym, and check this out. I think they've copied my idea. It's like a magic mirror behind a TV. It's really not a magic mirror. All they did was put a, all they did was put a TV behind a two-way mirror. The idea is still there. Uh, it's pretty cool. And uh, it's sort of like this bar area in the back. This is in the gym, this is like the cafe at the gym, so uh, this is not where I work out every day, but it is a nice place to like relax. Also, I'm betting a lot on this new windsock that I got. I don't know if you're supposed to leave it on indoors and outdoors, but taking it off was kind of a pain. So right now it's on, so I've been running the camera now for like 25 minutes. It'll be shorter while you're watching it because I'm going to cut, but I hope the audio is not complete crap. Hopefully it didn't muffle it too much. I don't know a lot about sound, so I'm hoping that this actually works. And there's a thing already coming off. There's a little thread. That's pretty much it, guys. I'm going to do 25 videos in 25 days for Vlogmas. Today is day one. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can stick around for day two.